Good afternoon. Um, I'm City Councilor Mary Ann LaBarge, and um, we welcome you to the Committee on City Services. To my right is Ward 3 Councilor Jim Nash, and to our right again is Councilor Dennis Bidwell from Ward 2. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Roll call. Councilor Nash. Here. Councilor Bidwell. I am here also. Councilor Barge and Maureen Carney has been accused. Okay, public comment. I see we have no members of the public, so there's no public comment. Minutes of the previous meeting. I would like to move that we approve the minutes of March 5th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we had items referred to our committee, um, which you probably know that we have two that have withdrawn. Oh, I don't know that. Okay, I just found that out. Um, who was it? Saturday. John Thorpe. I don't know what counselor had him. I had Mr. Edge, and I'm prepared to speak. To so John him. is withdrawn. Wait. From our council? Okay, no. yes. Okay. Was he your assignment? No, okay. Dara. But so. anyways, he must have been Lauren because she told me he had withdrawn his application due to other commitments. Oh, okay. Okay, Iman Edge? Iman Edge? Who has him? I do. Okay. Okay, um, I uh, spoke with uh, Mr. Edge on the phone oh, three, four days ago. Uh, we had a pleasant conversation. Um, so one of the things that's, uh, you know, that I found interesting about him th during our discussion, he's already gone to some of the uh, Arts Council's meetings, and, um, and it was after one of those meetings that um, Brian Foote suggested that maybe he should apply. And I thought that that was, that was a good first step to hear. Um, he's always been interested in the arts. Um, he, uh, by trade, he uh, is also in design. And um, let's see, I'm going to start to pop up right in the middle of my notes here. Right, away. Here we go, go away. Um, he's attended UMass, uh, where he, uh, uh, studied journalism. Um, he's been working in uh, media related um, industries for, let's see, print, web, and digital media for the last 20 years. Um, things that I, I, I found of interest that he shared was that um, he's uh, interested in figuring out ways for the Arts Council to better connect with the high school and the school system. Uh, so that uh, students better understand uh, careers in the arts. Uh, he mentioned uh, he's interested in seeing more pop-up galleries, especially in the empty storefronts downtown. I thought that was a great idea. Um, he was initially drawn, I'm jumping all over here because I'm following my conversation, <laughs> that uh, he was initially drawn to the Arts Council by the competition on the, the utility boxes downtown where artwork's been um, yeah and so that's what drew him in and um, that's what got him to the meetings and what has him involved and so I I'm gonna recommend to my colleagues that we give him a positive recommendation so I make a motion make a yes, motion I would like to make make a motion for a positive recommendation for Eamon Edge I Okay. Dara Herman Zeri. Yes, she pronounces it Dara. Dara. Uh, I would not have known that either. Uh, I spoke with her. She has an extensive art teaching background. She's in the process of retiring. She's quite the, the artist herself. Um, she has been to a couple of meetings of the Arts Council too, and she too is very interested in, in strengthening the connection between the arts and the schools. In her case, not so much on the vocational track as uh, galleries and exhibitions and joint programs. And she's particularly interested in arts festivals and art festivals that combine um, uh, environmental stuff, green, 
green arts festivals. So, so she's she's all she's all keen on that, and her husband is an artist who's been involved in town too, and so um, she's got enthusiasm and ideas, and I would move a positive recommendation for Zar Dara Herman Zierling. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. For the recommendation to the city council. Yes. And here's our next one. Vanessa Haid. That is another withdraw. Really? Yep. Apparently, I called Ford today and talked with him. And I had talked with her on the phone a, a week ago. I interviewed her. She wanted to do it very badly. And apparently, the mayor had some concerns because he was told she had moved from Hampshire Heights and he was actually looking for somebody who belonged to their association. Mm -hmm. So, she withdrew on that. Oh, okay. Well. So, now, next. Record time. Okay, are you ready? At our last city council meeting on May 3rd, seven applicants were referred to our committee on city service to be interviewed. Looking at the list, we need to decide which counselors would like to select what applicants yeah. and interview them. Counselor Carney said, whatever names are left, she will interview them. I would like to select, if possible, Brian Cavanelli. He is looking of going on the license commission. And also Jack Ben, whatever. Uh, I remember looking at the list. I don't have it with me. Who, who? I got it. You want it? Sure. Yeah, let's, let, let's just huddle around. You're right. Let's be appreciative about this. Mm -hmm. just, I'll look at it together. Yeah, Jack was the name I recognized. Yeah. But, oh, I, oh, I do Percent. remember. Yes. I wanted to talk to to Cynthia mm -hmm. well, and yeah, and Joel okay. Morse. Those were the two I was... Okay, I, I had already suggested that in an email to Okay. Me. So get us right. Yeah. And where's the other one? Uh, right Joel. Okay. And then you have Brian, right? Yeah, I'll do Brian. And then this is you. So who's left? Yeah. We so have, we have. She's a, is she a doctor on the board of health? I, uh, I, don't, I don't. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, and they're all for she's board of health. Lovely. No. Oh, well, just these two. These are board of health. Yeah. Conservation Commission, Jeff. No, I'm doing conservation. So, 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 so Barbara. There's, so there's three. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can do Barbara too. All she right, because Maureen such whatever's left should do. Well, that's right. We should let Maureen do so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. I sure. I, I, I'll do anybody here. No, you do. So give me two. Right All right. Special. All right. <laughs> and so I'll do Lauren. And you're doing Barbara? No. Okay, I'll be doing Joel Morris and Cynthia Swalbridge. That's right. Cynthia. Whatever. I can't pronounce that one. I think she's. You no, know, I'm going to do James Reese. Housing partnership that since it was. Okay, so Jim, you've got Lauren. And what do we have left? Barbara. Barbara. So, so Maureen Connolly can do her. Yeah. And. Um, and I think that's, that's it. it. We all pick two, and Maureen gets one, and that's seven. Yep, there you go. Okay, okay. any new business? Well, actually, I did want to mention something. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you folks, but I've heard more from people about paving issues. This paving? Year. Paving. Potholes. This the yeah. in the streets generally, how we keep falling further behind every year. Mm -hmm. Awful. Um, as well as wanting to know more information than is already on the DPLB website about just what the methodology is, or making decisions about what it's paid and all that. And, and Donald Scully has been very responsive and has provided more information. But I have one constituent in particular who went to one of the mayor's budget meetings and put forward a, a specific proposal that we will continue falling further behind every year. It's a losing battle on our on our roads. It's, it's, it's true. We're not we're not even keeping up. 
And um, we cannot count on increases in Chapter 90 money. We cannot count, mm -hmm. count on further federal could. money. So his proposal is that we, over a two-year period, do a real major blitz effort and catch up How extensively. Do how do we do that? He's, well, he hasn't figured out the numbers, nor have I, whether there's room within our existing bonding capacity to move some things around and bond more than, a lot more than the million and a half we're bonding now. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, he's willing to simply take a proposal. This is so important that we have such support across the city to, okay. re to reduce to reduce streets and sidewalks once and for all to do it over. So uh, what would you recommend? I'm just wondering if we might want to ask the DPW director and perhaps, Dallas Gallier and perhaps the, for and the she, next meeting. And she'd possibly. probably want to bring the mayor, the mayor would probably want to bring too, to, to, to talk about, does it make any sense to think about a more aggressive approach to catching up on our paving issues than what we're doing, which is significant. But as, as you know very well, Councilor Lavarge, Hertz pit alone, badly needed, but it soaks up a huge amount of what we have Just available. like Hinkley Street. Just like Hinkley the previous year. So, you know, by the time you take on a Hinkley Street or a Hertz pit, you're just left with a little bit left here and there, even when we're doing two and a half million a year. Right, and the big problem is the money. Okay, so, Plus so, the maintenance, which has not been taken care of for years. Exactly, so if we don't keep up with maintenance, then the day of reckoning comes and we pay big time with total reconstruction, which is what we're doing now. And that's what we're doing now because of the stormwater. And so I, I'm just proposing a conversation with the sure. DPW director and the mayor about is it worth thinking about a more concerted, aggressive, couple of year campaign to do to do more to catch up on a more rapid rate than what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. Now I even asked the mayor about inviting our governor to North Northampton because that's not going to happen. And I said, he needs to see the conditions our streets are in in our city. Our, even the rural areas are so deplorable. Yeah. Take a look at Glendale Road. It goes on and on and on. I'm here at, oh God, I'm here from Round Hill Road. Round, round hill, because of all of the, in addition to everything else, uh, all the construction up on the park. Counselor, it took me seven years to finally get Sylvester Road down, and that was really yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, we had a voice. It was so dangerous. We had people in wheelchairs who were confined. They could not even leave their driveways like that. Danny Langer and that. Mm -hmm. that that's, that's not acceptable. Right. And we have elderly out there also. Then we yeah. have Park Hill Road. It took me nine and a half years. So that, that, that's my proposal. Do you think there's any merit to at least having a conversation? I think it sounds great. Sure. It's not, I think um, as long as we say we're starting the conversation, I think the mayor will be fine having that conversation. Yes. <laughs> And that, um, yeah, and then to get a ballpark figure of, you know, if I, it uh, was, was, we went, we had a meeting at uh, one of the mayor's meetings up at the foreign, at Lilly Library, and we heard the same thing from a constituent yeah. that, again, you know, fed up about the, the, the condition of the roads and that we should do an override. And, um, I was like, I, I, I'm, but yeah, sure. Having putting a price tag on what that might look like. I mean, we have the the figure of that we have a hundred million in in deferred maintenance. You know, how do we get it into? You know, how do we knock off thirty percent of that of the worst? Because what happens? You know, what's happened this spring more so than any spring is that the number of potholes that have shown up because of all of the the. The freezing, thawing, refreezing, that all of that frost wedging has gone on numerous times throughout the season oh, rather than just a few times at the end of spring. Mm -hmm. And that um, and that's what's been tearing apart our older roads. So what's nice is all of the roads that are new and have been redone, they're in great condition right now. 
They are, and we're keeping up with crack sealing on, on, on the new roads. I mean, that, that's always the about, there's such a balancing act yeah, to figure out what we do is maintenance to keep the good roads good. And then we get the money to do the old roads. So, so, so I'm, 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 I'm just suggesting. Could you possibly, Councillor, shoot me off an email yeah. on what you would like us to ask Donna in the mayor? Please? I'll, I'll, I'll send it to Maureen and that, probably everybody else. Yeah, I'm for 100%. And just so you know, I, I'm, I'm certainly talking about the mayor the next week about, about this. Oh yeah, that's bad. I'm in there. I'm talking with him constantly. Uh -huh. Well, I talk, I talk to Donna about specific roads, but, you know, at uh, what point do we, she came, do we look, at, look at a little bit bigger picture? She came on site on Glendale Road and a meeting with several residents. That road has not been touched for years and years. They have a serious drainage problem on that road. Several driveways have been damaged severely. The condition of that road is deplorable. We have a new home that was built about a year and a half ago, and it's for head injury. And they come out and they walk. They come out in their vans. The road is in an unsafe condition, and they are paying for the last year. Mm -hmm. yep. So we're looking at people with disabilities also trying to keep them safe. It's awful out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Reading adjourned. Motion adjourned. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thanks for the.